Right, hello everyone and welcome to the preview for Hull City versus Swindon Town on Saturday the 30th of January. Um, three o'clock at the KCON, but before we get into the preview, uh, we're going to award my Player of the Month award for this month, the first Player of the Month award of January. Uh, this next game is our last game of this month, so I thought I'll have worn it now, because why not? Well, well, before I forget about it really. And I've given it this month to Keen Lewis Potter. Um, purely because him getting put back in the team has made such a massive difference to us as a team that it's only necessary, in my opinion. So, as we move on to the winner's board, you can see there on this graphic, it's missing his name on next to January. There it is now. And now let's get on into the actual main bulk of the preview then, shall we? On to match details quickly at the KCON, 3 o'clock UK time. I follow the Tigers for £10 season pass. Holders do get it with the code. Make sure you enter that code. Uh, yeah, if you're a season pass holder, you should have an email. If you've not entered it yet, get it done. And in League 1. Um, on to team news then. George Hunnaman came off injured in the Tigers' midweek defeat to Accrington Stanley and left the Wham Stadium with a bag of ice on his shin bone. His availability for this upcoming game against Swindon is unknown at the time of recording. And also the extent of his injury is unknown at the time of this recording. And uh, Callum Jones and Martin Samuelson are both back in training after hamstring and calf injuries respectively. Tom Eames, calf and Fespas out of thigh remain out. Injured onto ref watch then the referee is Trevor Kettle. The two liners are Richard Wigglesworth. Richard, uh, Richard would fit on the graphic with how long his surname is. So I have to put Rich. Uh, and the other linesman is Andrew Dallison and James Bell. Is the fourth official on to stats. Then Hull City had 12 shots against Accrington. Of those 12 shots, only one was on target. That is embarrassing considering we beat them 3-0 just a week before. Uh, we had 49% of possession, committed 14 fouls, made 15 tackles, won th only 39% of aerial duels in the game. I know they're a big side, but Jesus Christ, that's poor. And City made 442 passes in the game with a pass accuracy of 65%. What do I think then? Uh... We can't do with we can't do with missing Honeyman for a while because he's such a big player for us. Um, and I'd shit the team up a bit. Here's how: Emmanuel in for Coyle because we lacked in the final third. Emmanuel makes a lot more runs than Coyle does. Uh, Burke in for Jones. Gavin White in for McGinnis. And if Honeyman can't play, bring Crowley in for his first start. Don't move Alfie Jones forward and bring Burke in. Uh, Crowley's cameo from the bench against Stanley in midweek was the standout performance in a bad bunch of them. On to head-to-head -head battles then Jacob Greaves will have to defend against Brett Pittman and uh, Jonathan Grounds will have to stop Malik Wilkes moving on to current form. Now then, we are we we're not in bad form beat, uh, in our last five we've beaten Fleetwood 3-2, drew 1-0 with Blackpool, beat Accrington 3-0, beat Portsmouth 4-0 and then Drew, and then, not Drew, lost 2-0 to Accrington Stanley. Swindon then, they lost 4-1 to MK Dons, beat Ipswich 3-2, that's a brilliant result. Lost 2-1 to Doncaster, drew 2-0 with Charlton, and lost 2-0 to Plymouth. On to the league table now then, we have been knocked off the top by Lincoln, who we do play on Tuesday in the Papa John's Trophy. I can see McCann putting a very, very strong lineup out for that. And then we play them on the 9th of February in the league, a week later. Yeah, preview for the Lincoln game coming out uh, Monday. Yeah. Um, it's tight in the playoffs. We need to keep momentum. And as we move on to around the grounds, there are some very big fixtures. Sunderland face Gillingham. AFC Wimbledon face MK Dons. The battle of the proper, well, the old Wimbledon that's now MK, you get what I mean. Um, yeah. Um, there's plenty of videos out there, plenty of information on the internet if you want to educate yourself more about that. Bristol Rovers face Rochdale, Charlton face Portsmouth. We could do with Charlton doing us a bit of a favour here and just plopping Portsmouth down. The league table does though, it's very close between those two sides. Portsmouth 5th, Charlton 6th. Yeah, we could do with a Charlton win. It would take them closer to us, yes. But Portsmouth, with a game in hand on us, that would push them even further back if we picked up even a point 
from this game. Uh, Lincoln face Doncaster as well. Uh, I've skipped one there. Crew face Ipswich. That's a battle outside the playoffs. Ipswich in 10th, Crew in 9th. And uh, Lincoln face Doncaster. Doncaster sat in 4th in the league. They could do us a favour. Come on, Doncaster! Um, Northampton face uh, Wigan. Oxford face Fleetwood. That's a battle of the uh, upper mid-table. Shrewsbury face Peterborough. Plymouth face Accrington Stanley. And the only game postponed this weekend is Blackpool versus Burton. Memorable match then. I can't remember any. And I even looked on the club's match pack from when we played these guys earlier in the season. Even the club couldn't be asked to find a game, to find highlights of when we last played these. Uh, before um, we played them on, we played them in October. So I've just put the stats on there. That's our record against them. Stats are taken from TigerBase.com. On to last time out though. You saw it on there. 31st of October 2020 at the County Ground in League One. We lost 2-1. We took the lead through Keen Lewis Potter and then Paul Caddis and Joel Grant uh, pulled them back from behind to secure the win. Uh, our team that day, I imagine it'll be very similar. Now, obviously, Device won't play because he's out on loan. Um, I don't imagine Ingram will play, even though George Long's goal, but even though the one of the goals George Long conceded at the week, uh, in midweek was absolutely shocking. It was a proper, proper FIFA goal. Right at his near post, in between his arm and leg. Should be doing better with that. Uh, Honeyman won't be playing, I don't think, due to injury, and neither will Tom. Eves on to shared shirts now then. Chris Martin, who we're looking at today, he was at Swindon for 2012-13. That season, in 12 appearances, he scored the once. Uh, he was on loan at Swindon from Norwich. And for us, um, it was 2018-19 that he played for us, not 2012-13. Uh, I've got that wrong on the graphic, sorry. Uh, 31 appearances. For us, and he scored just the twice on loan from Derby County. On to my predicted 11 now, then in Grant McCann's 4 3 3. Um, in goal is George Long, with uh, the right back being Josh Emmanuel, not Louis Coyle. The pair of centre backs are Reese Burke and Jacob Greaves, with uh, the left back in this team being Callum Elder. A midfield trio of Richie Smallwood and Greg Doherty with Dan Crowley moving a bit further forward into more of a into more of a cam position in this team. Um, it's Gavin White on the right, King Lewis Potter on the left, and Malik Wilkes leading the line. That's the team in picture form. Now moving on to the substitutes, we've got Matt Ingram, Louis Coyle, Alfie Jones, Jordan Flores, Regan Slater, Josh McGuinness, and Billy. Chadwick, that's the team, they're in picture form, that's the team out there on the pitch, obviously as I said, uh, Smallwood and Doherty will, will, if you look where Crowley and Doherty are, they'll probably move a little bit further back and Smallwood will come, well, where where Smallwood's um, position thing is, that'll move forward and Crowley will play more in that slot, anyway. I'm waffling. On to my predicted score now then. Um, after the disaster that was the Accrington Stanley game at the Wham Stadium, at the Crown Ground, whatever you want to call it, in midweek. I'm going to say we bounce back with a 3-0 victory. Avenge Demons from midweek. Avenge Demons from the from at the County Ground earlier in the season. And yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.